What's going on YouTube Universe? It's your boy Xander Wayne here, the Dreadlock Nerd, here with another Xander Interjection Reaction video. One of you guys requested that I react to a top 10 mo uh, mojo watch mojo video called the top 10 movies that made a fortune on merchandising. So, since there is a nor'easter still kicking outside, I'm looking out my window, I can see it right now. And I'm continuing my watch mojo kick. Let's get it. I'm pretty sure it's not hard to figure out which of these movies made a fortune off of merchandising, but let's just see. The battle's beginning. Which side are you on? Autobot or the Transformers? Decepticon? Yep. Merchandising, merchandising. Where the real money from the movie is made. Hey, you guys, you're flying! This isn't flying. This is falling with style. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies that make a fortune on merchandise. You are a famous race car? A real race car? Yeah, I'm a real race car. What do you think? Look at me. For this list, we're taking Ninja. a look at movies and movie franchises that weren't just big hits at the box office, but also went on to produce profitable toys, clothing, and other goods. The new cars are here. Hm. Get ready to start your engines. Number 10. The Cars franchise. Yeah. Seriously, your driving's incredible. You can count on anything from Pixar to make Pixar some money with Cars merchandising. Cars really isn't anyone's favorite Pixar movie. They yeah, even though, yeah, it really wasn't all that great, that but, insult. you know, it's whatever. Nevertheless, Cars is still among Pixar's most marketable franchises. That isn't too surprising given the marketing possibilities. Yeah, that, that is spectacular advice. Kids have adored toy cars dating all the way back to Hot Wheels. With yeah. hundreds of new cars ready to roll out. Thus, turning automobiles into sentient beings with likable appearances made for a winning toy line. Oh, right. That makes perfect sense. As if collecting hmm. every toy car wasn't enough, Disney's profits soared even higher when planes came in for a landing. I've never just seen planes and don't really plan on watching it. Just mm. Maybe. This is really can do eh. more than what I was built for. With the opening of Cars Land at Disney California Adventure, hmm. this billion dollar franchise isn't slowing down anytime soon. A whole new land opens June 15th. Nice, Cars nice. Land at Disney California Adventure Park. Number nine, the Despicable Me franchise. And wow. we all this know why. You actually like this? While Gru and his adoptive daughters are certainly marketable characters, it's those adorable yellow minions that really made this franchise a breakout success. Minions is just look at these little guys. You just want to give them a big fat hug as if they were plush dolls. He's so sexy, I'm gonna die! Thus, it only makes sense that they would spawn countless toys, not to mention a ride at Universal <laughs> Studios and their own spin off movie. <laughs> Just one minion Smoke. doll isn't going to cut it, though. You're going to have to buy your five-year-old a whole army of minions until they're satisfied. I have been working on something I don't think my niece has seen any of the Spigman Me movies, so... That blow this I'm straight. Thing out of the water. Number eight, the Transformers franchise. Which was based off of toys anyway, so... Transformers has always largely been about selling toys. In fact, the franchise started as a Hasbro toy line in the 80s. There you go. Transformers, more than meets the eye. The action figures went on to inspire an animated series, which would ironically inspire more action figures. Megatron mm -hmm. must be stopped, no matter I have yet cost. to see the actual and animated Transformers movie. I'm going to have to watch that one day. Seen in the early 21st century, even more toys hit the shelves. Michael Bay's an expert when it comes to working commercials into his movies. So he was the perfect man to bring the Autobots to the big screen. From a marketing yeah, standpoint, I guess so. at least. Yeah. Although, Age of Extinction, that was some. Um... What? Say what you will about the movies, but Transformers merchandise remains awesome. Well, and duh. will forever keep consumers coming back. Disguised as Earth vehicles. I don't think those. I don't think Transformers has ever gonna die out. Ever. They're gonna keep selling those toys because every generation is going to find something they like about it. The Toy Story franchise. Well, for obvious reasons. Come on. Toy Story must be every ad executive's dream come true. The main characters are already playthings. You are a toy. You weren't a real Buzz Lightyear. You're a now you're an action figure! You are a child plaything! They practically sell themselves. Of course, Toy Story didn't become one of Disney's most profitable franchises based on its marketable premise alone. The filmmakers took these simple pieces of plastic 
and molded them into wonderful, timeless, and original characters we truly story. care about. <laughs> That's the reason people keep coming back to Toy Story, yep. and why every generation of I children did. desires a Woody and Buzz Lightyear of its own. You think you can take care of him for me? Okay, then. Plus, the series elevated Mr. Potato Head to another level of fame. Mrs. Potato Head, Mrs. Potato Head, Mrs. Potato Head. Hey, I can dream, can I? Number six, the Harry Potter franchise. Yeah. Through the Harry Potter books, J.K. Rowling created one of the greatest fictional worlds in all of literature. The feature film adaptations made Rowling's world come to life, as did the merchandise. Yes, it it is. Nothing more or less than the deepest and most the first Dumbledore. desires of our hearts. If you're a true Harry Potter fan, then you've undoubtedly purchased a few wands and robes. The wand I never did all that. Wizard, Mr. Potter. And maybe even some Quidditch gear. Wow. Definitely never did all that. Then if you're a really hardcore fan, you likely blew your life savings on expensive prop replicas and collectibles. This lot one can cheat, Mum. To I'll get only the do that for comic Hogwarts book related material. Though, you'll have to visit the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Then explore the classrooms and corridors of Hogwarts Castle. The trip is worth every galleon, sickle, and canute. At least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. They got an pure talent. Number five, the Batman franchise. Dang it. I don't know. I got my cereal box here. Every Pat. little boy has dreamed of being Batman. Thus, all those Batman toys and accessories have made the folks at Warner wait, Brothers wait, richer than Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Granted, Batman right. hasn't always been easy to market to young kids. There it is. Batman Returns was See that? So dark yep, yep. That Batman. Batman. Batman night. Batman night. Penguin? I mean, killing a sleeping sewer. Isn't that a little, uh, no, it's a lot. As a result, the studio wanted Batman and Robin to be more toyetic. Maybe that's why Mr. Freeze looked and talked like an action figure. I'm afraid. He looked and talked like, talk like a clown. To your pleas of mercy. Yeah, see? There are so many memorable incarnations of the Dark Knight, though, that the Bat and Signal one more to coming out. To his products. So, what do you think? Does it come in black? Number four, the Jurassic Park franchise. After Steven Spielberg cooked up the most realistic dinosaurs audiences had ever seen in Jurassic Park, no child's toy chest was complete without a velociraptor. Even if some of the sequels weren't so hot. Oh, that's how it always starts. But then later there's running and then screaming. Kids still ordered their parents to buy the merchandise. We can charge anything we want, 2000 a day, 10000 a day, and people will pay it. And then there's the merchandise. Why? Because dinosaurs might have gone extinct, but their appeal never will. Even decades after nope. the initial blockbuster, Jurassic World had us lighting up at the box office and the toy stores. Mm -hmm. We're going to make a fortune with this place. Now, if you'll excuse us, we're going to go make our T-Rex and Indominus Rex action figures fight each other. Probably not a good idea. Number three, the Frozen franchise. Good gravy, Frozen. Still making money right now. For years, it seemed like the traditional Disney fairy tale was dead. Frozen proved. Anybody catch the first episode of The Lion Guard? I actually caught some of it. Well Not bad. I think it's gonna be a pretty Aside interesting cartoon. Aside from becoming the highest-grossing animated film of all time. Frozen just keeps raking in the big bucks with Olaf dolls. I heard carrots are good for your eyes, but I think they're much better for your nose. <laughs> Elsa and Anna dresses. How about boots? Mm -hmm. Winter boots and dresses? And of course, that infectious soundtrack. Holy crap. Some parents may now be sick of Frozen fever bleeding their wallets dry. Yeah. Not since your parents yeah. bought you all that Little Mermaid and Lion King merchandise when you were young, though. Well, forgive me for not leaping for joy. Chances yeah, are you'll have a hard you know. time telling your child no. Especially since a Frozen sequel was announced in March 2015. Oh, yeah. Number two, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Hot damn, yes. Marvel has been part of our popular culture for years, inspiring plenty of merchandise. I hear you're, uh, kind of attached. 
candier than you might think. With the Marvel Cinematic Universe launching these superheroes I don't think I own anything Marvel merchandise related. We've several waves of new action figures. No, I don't. I don't. And designer Dave Bonner. Taking out the pillars of a pulse of blast. The high-tech heroes always changing the plan. Besides giving us detailed action figures and bobbleheads, Marvel merchandise has exploded in recent years with t-shirts, backpacks, and of course, costumes. Are you keeping the outfit right? You know what? Yes, I am. It's kind of grown on me. The universe offers a wide variety of characters, making the marketing possibilities endless. So is this how you normally look? More or less. It's a good look. You're never too old to collect every piece of Marvel memorabilia. That's true. Although you may not be rich enough. I know guys with none of that worth ten of you. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. My little yes, yes. Hey, take it, take it. That is a nice sword. So light. Yes, yeah. Made by the elves, you know. Hmm. Huh. The ducks? With the ducks? Man, what friend did jerk him up with that name? <laughs> a Jose can say go back. Many so, toys. Many toys. Ooh, <laughs> Look who's finally ready to play. Yeah, I guess so. That was on the other day, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Let's see if I remember how to do this. Stop playing, Mike. With the exception of Dr. Strom, our entire staff... Sir, I shouldn't have gotten rid of my Spider-Man 3 game. I actually really liked that. I don't Number know why one, I got rid of it. The Star Wars franchise. <laughs> I just need to purchase my lightsaber. Since studios didn't have the best grasp shirt. on creative movie marketing Not this one, of course, but I already got a shirt. I need a lightsaber now. actually sold the merchandise rights for Star Wars to George Lucas. It was a lot to me. Big mistake on their behalf, since Star Wars now holds the Guinness World Record for most successful film merchandising franchise. Nice. Star Wars just keeps enduring, with action figures and plastic lightsabers remaining hot ticket items. Yep. My father's lightsaber. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. Not as clumsy or random as a blaster. Before The Phantom Menace even came out in 1999, it already made a killing in early toy sales. Yep. It's working! It's working! Oh, and you'd better believe we all added a BB-8 droid to our Christmas list in anticipation for The Force Awakens. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? We don't me! What movie made you spend a fortune Agreed. in merchandise? For more entertaining top tens hmm. published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Cryokinesis. For you Street Fighter 3 fans out there. All of those were right on the money. All of those were right on the money, guys. You know, it is... These people know how to sell stuff, you know, so, but trust and believe, once, once Batman vs. Superman comes out, um, trust and believe I'm going to be getting a whole bunch of merchandise from them. Hey, I, I mean, I've practically already started, you know, got this, uh, the Batman's in the cabinet, you know, because I'm not finished eating that yet, so, you know, whatever, but, um, that's how I do it, I'm like, Post your comments in the comment section below. Let me know if you agree with this list. Everything was pretty much spot on. You know, all those movies that they listed definitely sold a lot, a lot of merchandise. And they continue to sell merchandise. So, like my video if you enjoyed my reaction to this. Dislike my video if you didn't enjoy my reaction to this. Share this video with your friends who get a kick out of, you know, merchandise and such like that. You know, maybe, they, maybe they've collected some merchandise themselves from one of these franchises. And of course... Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you see. Dreadlock Nerd out. Peace.